everybody, how's it going? This is Darren with GuitarControl.com bringing you this video lesson. And today I've got three riffs for you from LA Guns. So be sure to click on the link in the description for the tabs and let's get close up and take a look. Alright, so the first one we're going to look at is Kiss My Love Goodbye. And for this one I'm actually going to show, uh, it's for the intro of the song, the both the rhythm guitar part and the lead guitar part, because they're both pretty easy. Um, this way it gives you something you could... Uh, you know, play with a friend or use your looper or something. So let's first look at the uh, the uh, rhythm guitar part. So we start off, we've just got an E5, E5 power chord here, so I'm uh, using my first finger to just bar the second fret of the A and the D string, and then the low E string is open. So we hit this on the downbeat of one, and it's an eighth note, and then we have a just a quick sixteenth note rest. And then we've got this little riff here, uh, sixth string open, then to the third fret, fourth fret, fifth fret, and then to the second fret of the D string. So that's like. Now, when we hit this note here on the second fret of the D string, it's a sixteenth note tied to an eighth note with some vibrato, so that just rings out there for a second. And then we come back to the sixth string, the low E string here, and we go to the 3rd fret, and then open, and then to the 2nd fret, back to the 3rd fret. So it's like... So that's the first measure. Then starting on the 2nd measure, we start with that same E5, and then that riff, open, 3, 4, 5. And then we're going to go to an A5. So now the A string is open, and I've just got my first finger on the second fret of the D string. And then we go to the third fret of the low E, to the second fret, and then we've got a bend and release. And then that's basically the riff, so it's... So then for the lead guitar part on this intro, this is all, it's all right out of the E minor pentatonic scale. So it's out of this, it's out of this box pattern. So we start on the B string. You want to put your first finger on the 12th fret, and then we're going to be on the 15th fret. So I'm just using my third finger in this case. Uh, and we're going to pick 15 and pull off to 12. And then we're going to follow that with the 14th fret of the G string back to the 12th fret of the B string. So those are all 16th notes, so it takes care of beat one. So when we hit this 12 again on the B string on the at the end of four, um, it's tied to uh, the downbeat of two as an eighth note. So it just rings out for a second there. And then we've got a quick rest, and then we go to the G string, and we're going to uh, first finger on 12 again, and then your third finger on 14. And we're going to pick and pull to the 14th fret of the D string, and then back to the 12th fret of the uh, G string. So it's more or less like that same riff, we're just moving it down. Then we're going to start on the, uh, the D string, 14 pull to 12, to 14 on the A string, back to 12 on the D string. Then 12, 13, 14 on the A string. And that's a triplet. To the 12th fret of the G string. And then ending on the 14th fret of the D string. This is vibrato. So. Just like that. All right, so the next one we're going to look at is uh, like the intro. Uh, riff from uh, Never Enough. Uh, this is one of my personal favorites uh, from LA Guns. It's it's just, it's really simple, but I just think it sounds really, really good. And it's all just based off of uh, uh, inverted power chords, so they're intervals of fourths. So we start off with just the A string open, 
Then we're going to go to the seventh fret and we're going to bar our first finger so we're picking up the seventh fret of the D and the G string. Sorry. Then do the same thing but on the ninth fret. So I'm using my third finger. So that's the first measure. Then for the second measure, we're just going to move this shape over here, move it down a whole step. So now our first finger is at the fifth fret of the D and G string. And then we're going to go to the seventh fret of the A and D string with your third finger, back to just the fifth fret of the D and G, back to the seventh fret of the A and D, and then finally ending on the fifth fret of the A and D. Oops. So not too tough to play, but uh, I just think that's a really catchy kind of cool riff. All right, and then the last one we'll look at is uh, like the intro for uh, Ballad of Jane. So for this one here, we're switching at a clean tone, and um, we've just got three chords in this. We've got uh, we've got C, and then we've got D, but it's not this shape of D. We're just actually going to take the C chord. We're going to move it up a whole step. So now your third finger should be on the fifth fret of the A string. Your fourth finger should, or excuse me, your second finger should be on the fourth fret of the D string. Uh, G string is still open, and my first finger is on the third fret of the B string. And then we have G. So we start off here. We've got we've got our fingers on the shape for this C chord, and we rest on uh, the first three beats, and then the downbeat of four, and then on the end of four, we just hit this note here, and then we're gonna slide the chord shape up to the D, and play. The uh, B string, then the G string, and then slide it back down so we get the first fret on the B string. Like that. And then that just repeats uh, twice. And then on this third time, we start off the same way. Then we're going to pick the B string and do a pull off and then follow that with the open uh, G string. So that's the first four measures. Okay, then so starting on the fifth measure, we, we switch to a G chord and we're just going to kind of arpeggiate this. So we're going to go starting on the low E. We're just going to pick straight up, so we're like E, A, D, G, and then the uh, the B and high E string uh, together. And then follow that with three strums. We switch to a C. Start A, D, G, B, pull off, G, D, and then uh, this is like actually where we're going to transition back to uh, the G. So when we, we play the A string open and then switch to a G, low E, A, D, back to the C. And that's kind of the whole riff, and then it just repeats, so it's like... And then you can just keep repeating it like that. Alright, so there you have it, three uh, riffs from L.A. Guns. Uh, not too terribly tough, but, you know, kind of cool sounding. Uh, I always kind of thought Tracy Gens was kind of a cool guitar player. You know, he's not like a shredder, uh, but he 
he writes just really cool riffs. And I just kind of, he's always kind of got like cool guitar tone and just has that kind of a bluesy feel in his play, playing. I just really kind of dig it. So if you like this lesson, be sure to give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you have any questions about this or other guitar related topics. If you've not already done so, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the content that we upload throughout the week. Well, that is all I have for you today. Thanks for watching and have a great day.